Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the ROI from day one, comparing Hex and Bitcoin. So last time we did the sort of analysis, we did it on Hex and Ethereum, where we overlaid their, basically their launch prices and normalized them to each other. So they're on the same scale, looked at how many days it took to break even for each chart, and then sort of, how they how hex performed against ethereum when ethereum is normalized to this to this green line right here right essentially mapping the ethereum price chart or rather it looks so similar to the price chart that i always call it that but this is roi from day one right so mapping the eth roi from day one to align and then just mapping the hex relative roi to eth on on any given day from its launch uh, here on this pink curve as you see here and we're still uh, trudging up we're still chugging and we did the same for bitcoin here so if you take a look at kind of where we are now let's zoom in and it's a completely different story okay hex isn't outperforming bitcoin by these insane multiples like we saw with hex and ethereum we are we actually underperformed for this huge region right here you see this this gap where Bitcoin had a massive, massive tear. I believe this was a tear from, let's see real quick. About, oh yeah, this was a tear from about 50 cents up to around $30 or so. Insane. And as we see that Bitcoin got so heated that we actually retraced um, a bunch, right? Well, what is this? Retraced a lot. 80 plus percent. I think it was one of those one of those bear markets. This is probably the 2011 2012 bear market, um, if I remember correctly. I digress. We can see that we just peaked our head above it with hex, um, and so I did the same analysis with simply dividing this pink curve by the blue curve, which gives us this. Okay, so you see that this region right here, this huge gap of underperformance of hex relative to Bitcoin, Bitcoin is just this blue line here. It's mapping this entire Bitcoin price chart, or rather the first uh, thousand days, to this blue line. And so we see, again, this huge gap right here corresponds to this massive bubble of Bitcoin against hex on similar time frames. Now, now that I'm actually making this video, I'm thinking to myself, maybe I should change the X axis of this. Let's uh, actually do this live. And uh, you guys can kind of see how this works. So just to be consistent, there we go, let's do a thousand days. And so we won't um, have a million X here at the max, but maybe a hundred thousand X, 10,000 X, It's still 100,000 X. Yeah, this seems a bit more uh, reasonable. Yeah, I'll just keep it there. I don't know why it's not uh, it's not um, scaling it the way I want it to, but I'll fix that later. So as you can see, we just recently have hex popping above above the Bitcoin ROI after underperforming for this huge gap right here. Okay, funny enough, we actually had peaks on similar days about day 325 or so, which is pretty interesting. Um, it's actually really interesting how those peaks line up, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just analyzing this here, this here live with you guys. So draw your conclusions. I'd love to hear in the comments what your thoughts are. This is sort of... Uh, more of an unplanned video just because the hex uh ethereum roi video was received so well i decided to make one for bitcoin uh so i thought it'd be really interesting and lo and behold it's very freaking very freaking interesting and so we we get this curve here this performance index when when we divide the hex curve by the bitcoin curve and this here as you can see we're popping above it uh for the first time right now in for the first time since 200 and day 228 so it's been a while. What is that? Like 150 days? Yeah. So for the first time in five months or so, we're actually back on track with Bitcoin. Um, and as you know, this was actually the Bitcoin bear market, 
right here, the depths of it. So if we were to follow simply the, the blue curve, um, we could be seeing an uptrend pretty soon. What is this peak right here? 70, 80x or so, we're at 40x. And this is how many days away? Like 70 days away. Um, so in 70 days, seeing another 2x in price. So in the next two months, seeing a four penny hex, that's pretty conservative, I would think. Uh, but you also see that we do have these rare regions where hex actually bubbles up against uh, Bitcoin um, when we look at this ROI from day one chart. So up here, what is this, 12x or so divided by 2.5, let's say. What is that, about five? This is just some rough math, okay? So bubbled up 5x against Bitcoin for a minute there. So if we were to do something similar uh, and bubble up 5x against Bitcoin, well, we're pretty much hugging it now. So that would just be a, a, an easy 5x in price, which would put hex at what, 10 pennies, given that we're at about two pennies right now. And we will follow up in a future video on, on this parallel channel as well as some other stuff, but let's stay on track for now. I think this is a beautiful chart. Again, this was more of an unplanned video just because of how well received the other one was. So I do want to hear your thoughts on this. That is the video for now. I don't have too much more to say on this other than, well, if we hold the this blue line, it would essentially correspond to hugging hugging Bitcoin for, for however long it does. And let's actually return over here to the original long-term axis we had simply because when i saw this guys okay when i saw this like i know everyone in hex talks about long-term uh, staking and and holding and pretty much having hex be a long-term thing as compared to a short-term thing but this just this just solidified that for me i don't know if, if it did the same when you looked at this but it just showed me the absolute potential of this thing because if we look at over here, if we look at day 1236, and we consider that that's about two years from now, Bitcoin was at a 13,000 X from launch price, not even absolute bottom price from launch price. That would put hex. I did the math earlier. It would put us at like $7 guys. Okay. So for those of you guys who are saying my estimates are way too conservative, my projections are way too conservative, then I would implore you to to watch this video um, or, sh or share this video if you know someone who's saying that because a $7 hex would not be a small feat. Uh, could we see that before two years? Might we see it after two years? Sure, but I do think the guys who are calling for it this year might, I don't know. I don't know, I'll, I'll hold my tongue on that specifically, but the data here is suggesting that would if we were to follow Bitcoin and hug the ROI curve, then we could be looking at a $7 hex in say May, 2023. And if we were to see a short term bubble, just like this one here, we saw in, in Bitcoin, this kind of double cycle peak that would correspond to, what would that be? Like eight months before that, September, 2022, uh, could see us at around, let's do some quick math here. 2687 equals 2687. This was the price of hex, um, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so it could put us at a dollar fifty, say uh, September of next year. Some people are calling for a dollar fifty by end of this year, or even a little higher. So now we're kind of getting, we're kind of eyeballing dollars now. Okay. So that's, that's to say if we did have a absolute insane run here and pretty much continue the bull market for another 400 days, uh, assuming that we do need a bull market for hex to keep, keep tearing because we don't know how hex performs in a bear market technically, uh, because it's just been going up more or less uh, with some 80% dips obviously here and there. But for the most part, we haven't seen how Hex performs, I should say at the beginning of a bear market through the entirety of the bear market. And then once we rise from the depths of it. 
So I believe I was gonna end the video a little sooner, so excuse my rambling, but I just got some insight. Because like I said, this was sort of more of a spontaneous video I, I wanted to make. And so we'll get back to some of the other models in a future in a future video. So again, leave a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. If you found value out of it, subscribe if you're new. Uh, again, let's get to 1,030 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.